All right, guys, in my Max 6, we are at the 2019 Olympia Expo with Olympia contender and one of Jay's favorite, Steve Kingsley Kuklo. Steve, you look great, man. And uh, the first question I want to ask you is, how does that make you feel to have the four-time champ pulling for you? He says you're the one to watch this year. Well, I always say uh, Jay knows. So um, hearing that coming from a guy that I looked up to and has been my idol, the guy kind of uh, modeled a little bit of my most of my career after, um, it's an honor to get that kind of praise from Jay, but also um, very motivational going into the show and say, hey, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the world that Jay's got Jay's predictions right. Yeah, you can't you can't make him lie. No. So is that is that some added pressure for you or no? No, it's it, I. You know, I, I, there, there is pressure. There is a little bit of nerves, but I said, you know, I have confidence behind that from all the hard work and, and doing all my homework for the show. And I feel like that's what's what's going to bring me into the show at the level I need to be. He said this morning, he said, you need to make sure to talk to Steve. He reminded me of me when I was younger with the wide shoulder and everything. He's got all the tools to make it. Uh, so I think he's really, really hoping for the best for you. He says top five is not out of the uh, out of the realm of possibility, man. No, I think we're all over that. Like I said at the press conference, give me a first call out and I'll prove that I can make that happen. I'm going to work my butt off. I get better when I get on stage and keep posing. I'm going to show the world what Kuklo's made of. Steve, thank you so much for this interview, man. You look awesome. Best of luck tomorrow, tonight, tonight. <laughs> Love you guys, all the fans. Jay, you're the best man. I appreciate it. You've been a uh, friend, and, and uh, I've been a fan forever, and thank you for all the support. You watch the channel? Oh, yeah. I love seeing I watch all Jay's stuff, his millions of stories. He's one of the only guys I actually watch, so I love Jay. Thanks so much, Big Steve. All right, Dave Man Max 6 for the 2019 Olympia Expo, and I'm here with the 2019 Arnold Men's Classic champion, George DeBull Peterson. George? It's almost time, man, and I'm sure you're ready to take that title. Hey, what's up, guys? Big shout out to Jay Cutler TV. Uh, we're here at the 2019 Mr. Olympia Expo, the Redcon One booth, and uh, Classic Physique is gonna hit the stage tomorrow. That's when I'll be up there, and I plan to bring the best version of George Peterson III to that stage and walk away with the 2019 Classic Physique Mr. Olympia title. George, you came close already to third place finish the past two years at the Olympia. You go to the Arnold and you smash it over there. That was a huge win for you and kind of solidify you as, of course, one of the top runners to win this Olympia. Um, how does that help? How, how does that help your confidence to win the Arnold and uh, showing up today uh, as one of the, you know, because we're already a first runner and we top three, three years in a row, but winning the Arnold is a big deal. Absolutely. I mean, winning the Arnold Classic is definitely a big deal. I mean, because when it comes to the rankings of the shows, you have the Olympia, which is the top, and the Arnold Classic is right there, you know, with it. So any person who wins the Arnold Classic is considered the number one contender for that Olympia title. So it definitely gave me a whole lot of confidence. The competition at the Arnold was, was great. It was a great battle at the Arnold. And, but it also helped me learn more about my physique to carry me on to this Olympia so I can be that much more better. You've been you've been with your with your coach and, and trainer uh, Justin for a very long time. You guys are like brothers. It actually meant you back in New York a couple of years ago when I went to go do some shoots over there, and we never got the chance to film. But we're supposed to go to New York soon, and I really want to get you back on, on on JTV for a proper workout and interview because you have a great story and and uh, you inspire a lot of people. I hope you know that. Oh, well, you know, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, and I've been with my coach, Justin Miller, since my beginning in, the, in my running with Classic Physique, you know, starting in 2016. And me and him was just talking. If we had to narrate uh, the beginning of our journey with, like, one simple statement, it would be, I just came to this house just to hang out. Like, I didn't come to this house just, you know, to get ready for a show or anything. I just came over to hang out with my friend, and it turned into this journey. And uh, it's been such a wild ride, you know. Uh, and I appreciate everything Justin has done for me. He's, I, to me, he's the best coach in the world because not only is he about bringing out the best in your physique, but he's also about just your overall health. He cares about his athletes, all his athletes, and you know, and and he, he treats his athletes equally. 
you know, there's not one athlete that he holds higher than the other, but he encourages everybody equally to work hard, you know, and because he does that, I feel I owe it to him to give him my all, you know, because if I don't give him my all, but he's giving me his all, that's not fair, you know, so and, and vice versa. So, I mean, that's why me and him are such a great combo. Well, it's fair to say that if you do win, he's winning also. So I think he's really excited for you. A lot of people are excited for you. And I wish you the best of luck uh, tomorrow morning. And then uh, hopefully you get the title, man. And I'm a big fan of Brian, so I'm not, you you know that. I've filmed him any time. Uh, but it's okay to have more than one, one guy you like, right? I mean. <laughs> well, you, hey, you know what, I want to say that, look, I'm a fan of Breon too. Breon has a great physique. I have a, tons of respect for Breon. And I feel like just the battle itself is going to be epic. You know, somebody has to win, and I'm planning on that being me. But the battle itself is going to be epic. So, and I take my hat off to everything Breon has done, and all the improvements he made in his physique. He's a great champion. All right, George, thanks so much for the interview, man. And I look forward to uh, get you back on JTV when we get to New York, man. Best of luck. Hopefully, you have the, as the next uh, Olympia champion. All right, good luck, buddy. All right, yeah, Dave Mike Max 6 for JTV, and we are at the Redcon booth at the 2019 Olympia Expo with one of my good friends from Canada, Antoine Vaillant. Antoine, what's up, man? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I just got here, so I mean, I'm still a little bit of life inside me, because by the end of tomorrow night, I'm going to be tired of standing up, but for now, I'm good. Yeah. All right, so listen, you should be on this stage. You were prepping this year, looking your best, man, and then shit happens. You tore your arm. You had to scrap the rest of the year. Um, but you looked so damn good that Jay was calling you to win the New York Pro, to win Toronto, and he had high hopes for you. So that really blows. Um, but I think you're going to come back even stronger, and uh, your, the mind frame seems to be really good. Yeah, what I learned from this pretty much is that even when it's going well, you don't have control over that. So it can all be taken away like this. So this means we need to enjoy the process of bodybuilding, of prepping, and life in general every day. We have to be conscious that, fuck, this is a gift. And that's what I learned. I'm like, shit, training, training a maximum force, training the, our, as hard as you can every day, that's a gift. Because I had to put the, pedal, uh, the foot on the brake there. And that was, you know, I did it. I had no choice. But I was like, wow. I didn't notice before how lucky I was to be training hard like this. So just a reminder to everybody, think about that a little bit. And now I can actually start training Monday. I can start my off season and I have a few shows lined up. Uh, I would like to do one of the Arnold Classics. We'll see. I, I, I just gotta get some muscles first. How's the bicep feeling? Are you, are you completely recovered 100%? It looks good, it feels good? Not 100%, but if you look at it, I mean, it's not too bad. It's like uh, 0.6 inches smaller. But my arm was already 0.5 smaller before, so it might bounce back bigger, who knows? Because I just started training it two weeks ago. So it's good, it's just uh, sometimes I feel pain in the forearm because the fascia has been tight for a while, but that's the only uh, thing I can complain about. All right, so what's, what's the plan next? Have you decided what you're gonna do in, in 2020? Yeah, so, yeah, so I, I want to start my off season Monday and let's say if I pick a show in April, the Arnold Classic Brazil, I feel like I can win that, and then I would be able to qualify for the Olympia. But my goal next year is to qualify for the Olympia. Either by points, but I, I'm thinking by win, winning something. I think I can do it. Because uh, last year, I was getting up there with the, the level of conditioning and, and size was catching up slowly, right? So this year, I think if I'm 288 right now and I'm starting my off season, I'm gonna gain some more muscles. And then if I cut down and I'm in the 260s again, I have a good shot, I think. All right, man. So you wanted to be on Jay Carter TV. I know you just saw Jay in Canada when he did his tour. You are on Jay Carter TV, but this is just the beginning, man. We hope when next year when you prep, we get a chance to see you at goals and do some training and some interviews. We have high hopes for you, man. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I was pretty uh, pumped when he asked me to do the Jay TV. Then I was like, I tore my arm. so. All those little nice things like got taken away, but you know what? The 2020 is coming up. I'm coming back again. Is that all I do is come back, it seems, right? What the fuck? But I'm coming back. Antoine, good to see you, man. You look awesome. Thanks for this. Appreciate it. That's the man.
with yeah, Chris yeah. now. First thing in the morning, I wake up and say, Chris, you need yeah. to come now. Because I think that's it, we can't do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, so he think, comes right? and he's like, he doesn't sleep. I mean, he no. sends me texts at four in the morning, just yeah, do this, yeah. do that. No, it's, you said to me, six, I changed my mind because I can't sleep, just things and dreams and... Yeah. He told you, the last two days he had a sugar level dropped and he's mad. I was like taxing for two hours, he's gone. So he had to really, it's too much, it's too much. I mean, he's like non-stop, non-stop. Where is everyone else? They're not here yet? No. Alright guys. guys, Big Mike Cox. <laughs> <laughs>